Hi there, welcome to this Java tutorial where we look at the various examples of collections in Java. Uh, you can look at the other videos in our channel to understand the hierarchy of Java classes and also understand the different interfaces which are present in a uh, collection. In this class, in this video, we'll look at the different classes which are present in the collection interface. So we uh, in uh, in the other videos you can detailly look at the different interfaces which are present in collection and the different uh, methods they offer so the base interface is collection collection contains the different methods to have a list of items so you can add an element remove an element find an element uh, like uh, check whether an element is present in a collection and all those kind of stuff set interface extends the collection interface. Uh, the only important thing about the set interface is that it only can contain unique things. So it only can contain things which are uh, unique. So you cannot have the same element present twice. So that's the main difference between a set and a collection. So set and a collection, the main difference is that you cannot have duplicates. The first example class of the set interface that we look at is the hash set. So hash set implements the set interface the most important thing about the hash set is the elements are unordered and unsorted so they are not in the insertion uh, like the when we say unordered it means uh, they are not uh, in the order of insertion so if i insert one first and two next uh, when I say unordered, it means they can come out in any order. But if I say ordered, then they will store be stored in the order of their insertion. So if I insert first one and then two, then first one would be stored and then two would be stored. So when we say unordered, then order of insertion doesn't really matter. And when we say unsorted, then they that means they are not sorted in any way. So if I insert integers 5 and uh, 2 and 1, then they will be stored in some random order and not in the sorted order 1, 2, 5. So hash set, the most important thing is unordered, unsorted. And also the next class is linked hash set. The main difference between linked hash set and hash set is that in linked hash set, we store it in an ordered way. So it's ordered and unsorted. So set has, and the last one is tree set. So it's sorted. It, the, it, when we say sorted, it means the order of insertion doesn't really matter. They are stored in the order of the value. So if I insert, if I insert uh, two first, five next, seven next, or I'll take a different example. If I insert seven first, five next, two next, then the uh, sorry three next, then the way it would be sorted is three, five, seven. So they are stored in the sorted order. In linked hash set, the most important thing is the uh, order of insertion is important. So if you inserted five before three, then five would be first and three would be next. So those are the three classes in the set interface. So hash set, link set, and tree set. The most important thing is for all these things, all these three classes don't allow duplicates. So that's very important. The next thing which we'll look at is the list interface, which offers methods where uh, you, position is important. So I want to insert a position element at position 15. I want to element delete the element at position 10, and those kind of things. So if you look at the classes of the list interface, the important ones are ArrayList. ArrayList is uh, one where uh, the basic implementation of the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, list. So you can add an element, you can remove an element at a particular position, you can add an uh, list of elements at a particular position, and those kind of stuff. Those are all possible in ArrayList. Uh, the vector class is a synchronized. Uh, thing so it's thread safe so if I'm writing a program uh, which needs to be thread safe then I would definitely not use a array list so vector is basically an array list which is thread safe so even if I use 
uh, it across multiple threads there will not be a problem and the last one in here is linked list so in linked list uh, it uh, like linked list the most important thing is the insertion and deletion are faster so when i compare linked list with array list it's easy to insert and delete uh, from a linked list so they are uh, like the however the uh, thing is uh, for an array list the insertion and deletion are slower uh, as like slower compared to the linked list so those are the important example classes of the list interface and the let's now look at the uh, queue Q, the queue interface is to store elements in the order of their insertion and it obviously allows duplicates so the main difference between uh, a linked hash set and like a queue is that queue allows duplicate so you just insert the elements in the order and when you take them out they come back in that particular order the last interface that we look at is map interface map interface offers methods which store in key value pairs so i can store uh, the store uh, with the key a store a value something so those are the ones which the map interface provides the important implementations of the map interface are hash map the most important thing is hash map is unsorted and unordered so uh, there is no particular order in a hash map however hash table is synchronized so the synchronized version of hash map is hash table and also you'd see one more difference is hash map allows a key with null value whereas hash table doesn't uh, linked hash map linked hash map implements a map uh, however the most important thing about linked hash map is insertion order so it's ordered but not sorted and the tree map is sorted but not ordered so tree map is sorted so the way you can remember this is uh, the in the implementations of maps like uh, the first one is hash map it's not, not sorted not ordered linked hash map it's ordered that order of insertion is important tree map is sorted and the order of insertion is not important so that's basically all the classes which are present in the collection framework these are basically the examples uh, look up the other tutorials in our channel for more information on all these classes and uh, what you can do with each one of these until next time bye if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye